Welcome back, my name's Nick. I'm Justin. And welcome to the Wag House. Where we review whiskeys, liquor in general, and whatever we want. All sorts of things. Don't even worry about it. So today we're going to bring a special guest on the show for Father Day episode. Welcome to the show, Merlin. Nice to be here, guys. So today we're going to be discussing Angel's Envy. All right, Merlin, so what'd you bring us today? Well, today I brought you Port Barrel Finish, uh, distilled by Angel's Envy. It's a, uh, just an elegant, sexy uh, bourbon right out of Louis- Louisville, Kentucky. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, it does have a nice little shape to it, and it's got... With the angel wings in the back. Yeah. You can actually see it from the front. That's a nice... And actually, you know, this looks like color. they actually use a real cork. Oh, yeah, like, real cork and wood top. Yeah, so I'll put some effort into it. All right, so what can you uh, tell us about uh, about this about this company? Well, they're out of Louisville, Kentucky, and most bourbons come out of Kentucky. A lot of them, <laughs> yeah, a lot right? of them do. <laughs> so, but uh, what makes this very unique? I mean, it's a actually, you know, the recipe comes comes back 200 years. Um, but Lincoln Henderson actually is the master distiller, and he's quite the craftsman of of bourbon and whiskeys. Um, I believe that uh, Lincoln uh, crafted, um, you know, Woodford Reserves, uh, Jack Daniels, single barrel, and uh, and he passed on his recipes to his son. And now it's a father-son, you know, distillery business and port barrel finish is a very fine product that comes from uh you know their stilling process so yeah he's the uh oh. he actually is awarded the uh was the kentucky bourbon hall of fame uh recipient so oh, that's pretty awesome i didn't even know there was a hall of fame for bourbon, bourbon distillers yeah. that's yeah. pretty cool so but yeah i know that since the father and son like it was this product was bit solely their idea both the father and son yeah i think because yeah. i know because um henderson himself he was in those like woodford but it wasn't like his projects he was just like helping them yeah but this is his, his like his father's if i remember right his solo project yeah it's like their little project family project All right. yeah and i know that uh, the the you know the current is still the father you know and the sons are real tight family no and that's what makes this this blend particularly special because of you know Father's Day and and how he uh, reached out or basically sent a message out today. You know, wanted to wish everybody a Father's Day and and to raise a glass to all the fathers out there yeah. that are that are hanging out with their their children. So I know I was just doing a little bit of homework on him like uh, earlier today. Um, it it is a family owned business. Um, I guess Wes Anderson is the the current uh, chief. He's CEO probably the CEO, guess, yeah. You know, the guy in charge. And uh, they recently expanded, but they needed like a big time investor. I think uh, Bacardi invested in a couple years ago. Yeah, but yeah, Bacardi I think is one of the investors because I think they saw the potential into like this. Uh-huh. So if like Bacardi's like looking into, everyone knows Bacardi. So if Bacardi's reaching out like, oh yeah, let's, I want to look into this company. It's got to yeah. be, it's got to be good. And yeah. as far as I can tell from from what, at least what Google tells me, uh, Bacardi kind of stays out of it. They just put put the money in yep. and let the uh, you know the father son business uh, just do its thing on do its, its own. Thing. Which is cool, and I like too, like the, if you read more about, you know, Henderson, he actually kept like this little black book, and he only like, the family has it of like his notes on like how to notes brew, and like, recipes. Yeah, like notes and recipes, like how to make bourbon, so it's pretty sweet. Yeah. I think that's awesome. So, this particular one, uh, I know uh, Angel's Envy makes makes a variety, a, a variety of uh, different types of bourbon uh, this is the port barrel finish um, what, what exactly is that well it's it's finished in a uh, port wine barrels and that's what gives it its distinct flavor you know, I mean uh, when when you try you'll 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 pick up on the hints of of uh, the port flavors from that from that uh, finishing process and the distiller also, you know, there is no, um, 
you know, rule around how we drink our bourbons and whiskeys. I mean, e even the distillers would recommend, you know, try, try it neat, but then try it with an ice cube. That's and maybe try it with a little water because the nuances change because you're changing the proof of, mm. of, the, of the water or the, uh, the ice you're putting into it. So, you know, I really didn't really think of it like that before. And this knee is already at, you know, uh, was it like 86 proof? Yeah. yeah. Somewhere around there. So. Um, so, yeah, ready to try it? Yeah, yeah, let's give it a shot. Before you pour it, you can tell, like, you know, this is a really sexy bottle. I mean, really. I mean, it's got a. The neck is. The neck of it is 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 not that long, but and the shoulders are narrow. It's, and and the thing is, you could tell that. Oh, wow. You know the the wings on the back of it. You know, and it's an angel's envy. So it's the envy part of it that that they're emphasizing here. You know. <laughs> yeah. That this. You know, it is a very elegant uh, display. You, you see that even the wings print on it. Look, has wings on it yeah, too. So. so they take a lot of pride um, in it. And I, already I must smell the, the uh, you yeah. know, the, the ambience of this, the aroma of this thing. Yeah. Super, super smooth. It's very rich too. I, I, I like this a lot. It's got, it's, it doesn't have a harsh, a harsh finish. No, it doesn't. No. Not at all. It's definitely... Hmm. And the you know, more I could, I could, I could, it tastes great neat. I mean, mm, the yeah. vanilla, the nutty. There's a toasty. Yeah, flavor there is a toasty. toasty. Um, but you know, I you know, I could, I could. This tastes good with no, in an, like an old fashioned. Yeah, yeah. this would be great oh, for mixing. Yeah, yeah. mint julep <sighs> would taste pretty amazing with this. Mm. Um, you know, but it's good on its own. I, yeah, yeah, just drinking this neat is. You know, notice the uh, on the palate. I mean, the uh, the finish. It's clean. Yeah, it's yeah. clean. Does it, does it have does it have a super ling lingering like bitterness? A lingering or after, sweet, but not, it's got, yeah, so yeah. I, I kind of feel it more like through like the middle to the tip and of it, my tongue. Not really. It, and it fades. It fades yeah. very slowly. Yeah, it does, and it's uh, and I like that it's 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 super smooth. Like yeah. I just I can't say. It's even smoother on the second. Yeah. yeah. So I get, I, yeah. So I get smoother than yeah. on the bottle. Yeah, the fur. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we've already we've already gotten past the shoulders. <laughs> Might as well keep going all the way down. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 delicious. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad um, at all. It's, it's clean. It's uh, it's eighty four proof. Uh, it's around fifty to sixty bucks, depending on where you get it. So um, I would around. I would say. From from tasting this now, I can see why it's 50, 60 bucks. I can too, but I mean to like, but every day because it's a little expensive. If, yeah. If it's trying to be an everyday thing, I wouldn't say maybe like like a family gathering, like like today's Father's Day. Yeah. It's a good occasion. I would I would say I would say more yeah it's definitely more of a special occasion just because of the price. But as far as like flavor goes, I mean yeah if I had, you, if I had a couple bottles of this and helping at a serving at a party that'd be no yeah. problem. You know yeah. if I had my you know clients you know close friends I'd break up with bottle. Yeah, 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 I would too. I could and see they would see it. It's a classy looking bottle. I could see this with a, a couple of, you know, you know, a couple of good cigars would go. With oh, Pair of Earl, oh you know. yeah, very well. Yeah. And especially for like a mild cigar. Yeah, like yeah a it's cigar. mild. Yeah, it, yeah. This, will, this will be pair so well with it. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, yeah. I think I think I think a dark cigar would probably uh, be too over, overwhelm it. Yeah, but a light one would probably like okay. maybe a mild, I'm a medium, but yeah. like, definitely a light one would probably be like really like perfect. Yeah. Like it's just a good day. Yeah. <laughs> But I, you know, I can see why Bacardi invested in this company. Oh yeah, this, and it's, this, it's, this, is, this is amazing. This is yeah. yeah, one of the best like whiskeys I've had. Yeah, in like such a long time. And then as it, you know, as it gets a little hotter outside, it's probably like you know, it's real smooth, kind of just chill out. If you liked our video, go ahead and click on the link below. Where it's going to take you to our latest episodes. Please send us a comment, uh, like, subscribe. And if you have any suggestions for us and other things you want us to try, uh, please let us know. I'll try to get back to you and get more stuff out, more content out to you as soon as we can. Cheers. Cheers. Drink responsibly. <laughs> <laughs>